A lipid is a biological molecule. This means that it's synthesized in a biological system and or it has a purpose in a biological system. Lipids are nonpolar, which means they're not soluble in water. One of the unique things about lipids that can be kind of confusing for students is that there is no particular functional group that is associated with a, a lipid. Lipids have a variety of different functional groups. In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to lipids. It's going to start with like a pretty general overview. I'm going to give you like a tree diagram of the different categories of lipids. We're going to look at five different categories of lipids in two different sort of two different tiers or hierarchy of classifying lipids. At an initial level, lipids can be classified into one of two categories. The first category of lipids are fatty acids, and I'll define uh, what exactly that means in just a little bit. So fatty acids versus steroids and fat soluble vitamins. And again, this is just like our initial level of classification of lipids. And the fatty acids, I want to add like a little note on here. The fatty acids also include, I'm going to call them derivatives of fatty acids. And I'll explain what that means as we write those out. So let's start with the steroids and the fat soluble vitamins. Steroids and fat soluble vitamins are just like, those are just molecules in themselves. So there are a class of molecules that are known as steroids. There are a class of molecule known as a fat solu soluble vitamins. These substances are defined or described as being non hydrolyzable, non hydrolyzable which um, is a very fancy way of saying that they do not react with water. So steroids don't react with water. Fat soluble vitamins don't react with water. And this is um, the non hydrolyzable class of lipids. The fatty acids are hydrolyzable, are also, excuse me, also non hydrolyzable lipids. Meaning again, that they do not react with water. Fatty acids are just simply very long chain carboxylic acids. So they are carboxylic acids with just a lot of carbons on them. And I'm gonna draw just kind of a sample picture, just a really long chain, lots of carbon atoms here, carboxylic acid. Fatty acids, um, as I mentioned, are used to create other types of lipids. So this is what I mean when I say the fatty acid derivatives. So fatty acids can be used to create waxes. They can also be used to create triacyl glycerols, triacyl glycerols. And last but not least, they can be used to create phospholipids, phospholipids. A wax is a long chain ester. It is made by combining a fatty acid with an alcohol. I'm gonna draw, just as a reminder, I'm gonna draw like a generic structure of a, of a, of a ester using R in place of the carbon chains. If these were very long chains, then this would be classified as a wax. And a wax is hydrolyzable, meaning that it will react with water. A triacyl glycerol is a substance that in everyday language we would call a fat or an oil, depending on if it was a solid or a liquid. These are also hydrolyzable meaning again that they react with water. A triacyl glycerol is made by taking three fatty acids. I'm actually just gonna, just for the interest of like saving space, I'm just gonna abbreviate them FA. So we take, or the body takes three fatty acid molecules and it connects all three of these fatty acid molecules to what we refer to as a backbone molecule there. And this backbone is a molecule called glycerol. So the name triacyl glycerol is referring to, triacyl is referring to the three fatty acid groups and the glycerol is this substance, this backbone substance, glycerol. 
when we talk about triacyl glycerols, I'm gonna show you the, the shape of the glycerol molecule and how this all comes together. And then last but not least, we have phospholipids. And these are substance that, substances that are used, molecules that are used to make cell membranes or cell, cell walls. As you can imagine, um, just based on the trend here, these are also hydrolyzable, meaning that they will react with water under the right circumstances, under the right conditions. And their structure is really similar to a triacylglycerol. They have two fatty acids. I'm gonna draw two fatty acids that are connected to this same glycerol molecule. So this is another glycerol. We call this, again, we call it a backbone. Um, and in the third place here, instead of having a third fatty acid, there is a different substituent or a different chain down here that contains a phosphate. So there's a, a phosphorus um, with some oxygen atoms in there, a phosphate, phosphate, and also contains an amino group or an amine group, and it contains an alcohol. Let's see if I can squeeze all of that in. Alcohol, very, very smooshed up alcohol there. And when we talk about phospholipids, I'm gonna show you the structure of the phosphate and the amine and the alcohol. Uh, and this, like I said, is just sort of a general overview of lipids. In the next few videos, we're gonna talk about each one of these different types of lipids one at a time.